All right, in this repair video, we're going to be working on a PS5 that came in for no signal. Customer said that he took this console to two other shops and they were not able to help him out. His last resort is our shop here to see if we can do anything for him. Now, taking a quick look at the HDMI port, I see a lot of damage, a lot of damage. We actually got this console yesterday when I was working on the flash data recovery and we quickly sneak peeked at this HDMI port and that's what we found. Hiroshima bomb, right here. Flip the board and it looks like heat and flux was applied onto that board. We can tell these are fresh solder joints and we can tell by the copper how the copper changes color when you work on it. Maybe we can see it better under this camera. See how the copper changes color when you apply heat and flux onto it. So we know that there was a prior repair attempt on this board. Now, what we do not know is if there's anything else wrong with the board. AGMI port clearly looks bad, but we do not know if there's anything else wrong with the board. And right off the bat, I do see a missing trace or maybe two missing traces. Look at this one here and possibly one here. We do not know if there's anything else. Look at this, look at this. Not a single pin making a connection here. Oh, and this trace is broken also. This trace is this one. I do not know what we're going to find after we remove this HDMI port. I mean, I wish people do more research before taking their devices to repair shops because this is a lot of work. This console is a lot of work now because of all the broken traces and I honestly do not know if we have missing components here. But let me go back to an older video I did on a PS5 and see what I can find out. Let's go here and let's see. So it looks like we have a missing diode. C1014 right there. The resistor we still have and this filter or inductor we still have. One pad is already gone and you can tell that the other pad has solder on it. I mean, right now I'm not gonna do anything else on the board before replacing that HDMI port because we clearly have a damaged HDMI port and we need to put that Zeno diode back and fix all the broken pads. But I do not see any signs of flux anywhere on the board here. and no signs of flux anywhere on the board here except for the HDMI port. Let's start by removing that port. We're gonna start by waking solder from the bottom and we're gonna be using a big tip and of course our premium solder wick and we're gonna add flux and by the way flux will be in stock by Monday. So for all those waiting to order the flux, we're going to have the freshest batch in the market and it's going to arrive directly from Amtec on Monday. So the back is clean. Let's go ahead and clean the front. And I'm honestly afraid to look at the front. I'm afraid to look at the front. Oh, two pads. Okay, I would say this is good. It's solid. We have one missing here and we have one missing here.
gonna apply flux here and we're gonna apply flux here and let's run those wires Right, so now what we're going to do is apply solder mask so we can hold those wires down in place. The only reason I'm putting that mask on is not so that we can mask the wire, no. Nothing is going to touch that wire anyway. But I'm doing it so we can hold that wire down in place so it does not move. And that's the only reason why I'm using solder mask. Usually solder mask is used when you want to mask an exposed wire you do not want it to touch anything else but it can also be used to hold the wire down in place i'm going to use hot air so it can evaporate any liquid that's still left on the board and it will also help out with the curing along with the mechanic uv light and this is the same light and same solder mask that we currently have for sale on our site And if we feel the mask, hard like a rock, that's very good. Now we're gonna thin those wires a bit so that they can make a good connection with the HDMI pins. Nice and gentle, just like handling a baby. And now we're gonna solder a new HDMI port, a PS5 HDMI port. And we got a huge batch of those ports in stock. They will be posted on our website soon, so you can go ahead and order if you need them and stop paying the ridiculous prices that they have on eBay or Amazon. Let's solder that connector. And then we're gonna solder a Zener diode. Now the Zener diode, I do not have an exact match, but it shouldn't be a big deal. We're gonna apply flux. Let's start from the far end here. It's okay if we have a bridge. I just wanna hold that connector in place. I did not realize the microscope was not recording. We had a customer come in. I put the camera off and I forgot to put it back on. I also did the back without realizing that the camera was off. Not a big deal. Only added four solder blobs on the back here. All we have to do right now is solder that Zener diode. And let me make sure that camera is on, yes. All we have to do right now is solder a Zener diode. I do not have exactly the same specifications for that Zener diode, but we should be able to manage with what we have. Here I have a donor PS4 board and let's extract a diode from here. A 
and this one should be the same size. And yes, we just want to see the polarity of that diode. I'm going to go back to the PS5 video I did previously and just see the orientation of this diode. This diode should be oriented like this. Let's rotate the board. Very nice. Better than factory on one side of the drive. so this is done and if we go ahead and test make sure the connection is proper meter in continuity mode meter in diode mode and let's test from here to here we got nothing Let's put the black probe here and test that way. 0 0.642. We soldered a new HDMI port. We restored two broken lines on that HDMI port. We got a donor Zener diode. And that's it, the job is done. And all we have to do is give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test and hope for the best. I'll be back. Big Boss is done reassembling the PS5 and moment of truth. Is it on the right input? Yeah, HDMI tool. Is it gonna work? Yes, yes. For a second I thought it was not going to work. Yes, it's working. Wow, we did it. We did it. Your PS5 wasn't turned off properly. Normal. New batch of microscopes came in, 120 pieces, so we should have enough for everyone. And that's it, I'm very happy that we were able to fix this PS5, customer is going to be very happy. We are going to call him to come and pick up. So as you have seen, the PS5 console is fixed and everything is working perfect. PS5 HMI connectors will be posted on our website later today or tomorrow. We have a large batch of those connectors. So you can log in and purchase if you need them. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video. Mm -hmm.